home and staying safe. Since the government has announced the circuit breaker a month ago, we know that a lot of uh, owners and actually poor parents are worried about the maintenance of the pets for one month. So today, hopefully, we can actually try to teach you guys some easy methods and steps to maintain your dogs for this one month so that uh, everything will work out well at the end of this circuit breaker. Let's go! Alright, so when you're home and uh, you would like to brush your dog, you can just find a comfy spot or the usual spot that your dog usually lies like on the sofa or on the beds so that brushing will not be um, like a traumatic experience for them. Do it when they are very relaxed and maybe you can give them a treat or what after the brushing. To start off, you can get a sleeker brush and also it will be good to have a comb, a metal comb. You can actually get this easily from places uh, like pet lovers or any pet stores that sells uh, essential goods or food, they will have it. So what you want to do for their coat, for a poodle, their coat is usually rather thick and curly. So if you don't brush them at the end of one month, they will definitely get tangles. And most likely you might have to give them a really short cut or even you have to go completely bald for them. So we don't want that. So what you can do, first you can brush them. Hold a slicker brush like this so that you have a thumb to control the strength that you, you brush the dog. Pry open to the lowest level, lowest layer of the fur. You brush gently in the opposite direction. Do take note that you should be brushing the fur and not the skin. You can also start from the outside, no issue. And when you are done, flip it again, open. Do a gentle brushing. After you are done brushing, you can definitely see a difference between the leg that has been brushed and the leg that hasn't been brushed. And when you are done, just take the metal comb to make sure that there are no more tangles. Use the comb and run through the fur. It should go through very easily. If you feel that the comb gets stuck, it, get, it can't move on, it means that there is a tangle inside and you can actually pry it open and comb it out again gently. And at, by the end of it, your comb should be able to run through. And your dog is tangle free. You can see an obvious difference. Next, we'll move on to the head. So if you want to brush the head, you can actually use a hand and support chin or the bottom of the muzzle and gently We understand that some dogs might not like brushing so if they do not like it, you don't have to rush through it you can go by portion by portion. You have a lot of time, so you can actually just brush them uh, bit by bit every day. Yeah, a little goes a long way, so you don't have to finish the brushing in an entire day. You can break into sections, like you can brush a, a leg today, another one tomorrow. Just make sure that you do get to them. Okay. 
near the eyes, be extra careful. So you, because you don't want your brush to be prick, to be pricking pricking into her eyes. So you can just brush the binoculars. Get the side. You can cover the eyes. If you are really worried and if you are not confident, you can always use the comb. The comb works as well. So you can just brush through. you guys learn a thing or two about brushing uh, next up we'll be teaching you guys on how to shower your dogs at home so meanwhile do stay safe and stay home see you